I were an engineer, I would build bridges. And today I will try to do something similar, but in my own way. And as a psychologist, my essential tools are people and questions. When was the last time when you were thriving in your life? In my PhD research, I am focusing on psychological well-being, and thanks to that, I know several models, techniques, and exercises how to increase the level of well-being. However, it also took time for me to understand the theory that people can be happy and fulfilled in various manners. So let me just share three stories with you. On the one hand, I have some friends who could be the picture in the dictionary at the word of hedonism. Don't get me wrong, and I love and admire them because of their bravery in living for the moment. And when we are together, I can also experience my beloved spontaneous side. They are the ones who can teach me how to mindfully enjoy the little good things in my life. On the other hand, I have a colleague at the university who finds his well-being differently. Imagine that you are a hard-working person, I bet you are, and you decided to take the next step in your scientific career. You apply to a different country's PhD program, and you win a grant. How awesome. And then, one day, unexpectedly, there is an explosion in your city that damages your home. What would you do? My colleague comes from Beirut, and he started his PhD program four years ago. He decided to grab all his remaining stuff, move to a foreign country far away from his family, and make his dream come true. He is now at the end of his PhD studies, and I am so grateful for him for teaching me so much about passion and perseverance unwittingly. And lastly, I met a taxi driver a few weeks ago. He told me that he was suffering in the small business sector for a few, uh, few years, and he realized that he wants to connect to people by working. And he had such a big smile on his face when he told me that he found this in driving a taxi. He found his purpose. He found the meaning of his life and turned it into a vocation. And these stories are also referring to the three basic styles of well-being. So, seeking for happiness and satisfaction leads to hedonic well-being. Aiming for personal development and self-actualization is eudaimonic well-being. And having a purpose in your life and working for a greater good is existential well-being. And now you probably wonder which type you are, but let me just stop you for a minute. So well-being is not black or white. Okay, so you probably have a signature type. However, these are somewhat fluid, connected to each other, and can be, uh, change based on the situation or even based on your age. Okay, so when you are young, you probably go for hedonism. Okay, that's fine. And after that, around your 30s, you go for self-actualization. And once you have seen enough from the world, you probably find your meaning. I usually experience that it's easier to decide whether you are rather hedonic or eudaimonic oriented. But meaning is a bit more difficult. You probably find it in being healthy, building a career, having a family, helping others, or taking care about uh, issues related to the society or to the environment. So let me just invite you to take part in an exercise. Think about your why. Think about your purpose. What is the thing that gets you out of the bed on a rainy day, like this. What is that you are so passionate about that it will move you even if you feel that you have no more energy? Okay, so think about it. If you are done, please turn to somebody who's, who sits close to you, and if you feel the power, 
share your stories with each other. Okay, so you will have two minutes for that, one per person. You will see the lines uh, next to me, and I will also tell you when to switch and when the time is up. Okay, so if you are ready, choose someone. Let's share. Okay, it's time to switch. Unfortunately, our time is up, so please bring your focus back here. Thank you. Congratulations, because you have just tried a positive psychology intervention. These are activities or exercises that aim to cultivate positive emotions, positive thoughts, and positive behavior. When you are trying this exercise, you probably experience one of the two possible outcomes. Okay, so you might talk to somebody who has a similar meaning like you. That's super cool. Connect to each other, inspire each other, and work together. On the other hand, you probably talk to someone who has a different meaning than you. But that's also super cool. Connect to each other, get to know each other's stories, and widen your perspective. Let's explore how diverse a meaningful life can be. Connect to each other, build those bridges, and create a positive community. Take the time to get to know each other's backgrounds and take the time to take care about each other because you are the ones who will make the world move forward. Thank you.